Hey guys, welcome back to Jenny LeClue, Detective Wu. In the last episode, we finally managed to get on here on this elevator. We didn't get on, but we pulled it down. And now we are going to pull it up. Wait. What is going on? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Aha! Is there something here too? No, there is not. Okay. That's a... Oh, okay, got the sticker! It's important. Just to be sure, guys, there's nothing else that we missed, right? No, there is not. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just wanna, if we can. Oh, we, it's just a dusty old attic. If we can, we can, of course are going to pick up everything that we can. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello, spooky bear. Feels like he's watching me. Okay. Uh huh. Everything in here is covered in dust, except this bear. And oh. there's light coming from behind him. What are you hiding, spooky bear? Good question. Okay, we got not going to do that for the time being. I want to check out what's to the left first. Dozens of old boxes covered in dust and cobwebs, filled with toys, school projects, and old trophies. Addicts, where dreams go to die. <laughs> That's so true. Oh, wait. Uh huh. Got more gallery art, which is nice. Oh, okay, we can cl climb, please. We can open the window. Nothing over here, though. I think I want to go to the bear first. Aha! A way out of here. <sighs> Locked. But where is the lock? Hmm, so we will have to... Use that bear, most likely. Let's move. Oh no. Are you okay, Jenny? Smothered by a giant teddy bear. What an end that would have been. Just as I suspected, a hidden staircase. Okay. So let's follow that path then. Wait. Another gallery item, nice. Aha. Uh -huh. What is going on here? Jenny was no stranger to the labs at Gumboldt, but she'd never seen anything quite like this. Uh -huh. Certainly not inside someone's house. That's Susie then. Most hey, likely. What are you doing up here? Not again! Susie? Head to Glade's fortune, obnoxious, popular, smells Loved like candy. All, kind to a fault. Jenny's cousin was also the most popular girl in town. Oh, uh, hi, Jenny. Er, uh, um, y you... You should be in bed resting. What are you doing up here? I should ask you the same question. Hmm... Someone else was just here, 
Where did he go? Y you must be seeing things. I'm the only one here. I'm just tidying up my collection of teddy bears. Hmm. Let's be diplomatic. I see. My apologies then. But tell me one thing, Susan. Why is that teddy bear wearing a welding helmet? Well, um, there's a simple explanation for that. There are just too many to fit in my bedroom. Mm hmm. Let's go with good cop. Susie, clearly something's weighing heavily on your mind. Take a deep breath and answer the question honestly. I promise you'll feel better. It's not what you think. This is where I, um, er. Teddy bears. I have vintage bears, new bears, rare collectible bears. Enough. Stop avoiding the question. Hmm. Gain her trust. You don't need to hide anything. You can be honest with me. I can't. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Susie's secret was the kind you took to the grave. A shameful, dark secret. A secret so shocking she feared she would lose everything. Her friends would abandon her. Her family would disown her. She'd never find true love. Oh God! I'm going to die alone! Ugh. You can't tell anyone. You have to promise me. Hmm, let's promise. Fine, just stop whimpering like a lost puppy. You're embarrassing yourself. Uh, here goes nothing. This is my secret laboratory. Where I design and test my inventions. Your laboratory? It's not pink enough to be yours. Come on, Susan, you're gonna have to do better than that. My name is Susie! Only my mom calls me Susan. And this is my lab. Let me get this straight. A cheerleading, horse riding, dress wearing debutante is a secret nerd genius? <laughs> Hilarious. I knew I shouldn't have told you. She would never show it, but something about Susie's reaction bothered Jenny. Was Susie really leading a double life? There's only one way to find out. Susan Quincy Glatz, I'm gonna have to ask you a few questions. Alright, let's go then. Hmm. So that's... Okay, interesting. We're gonna have a look around first with the obvious ones. Gumbolt Moonbeams. Head cheerleader, paper shaker. The Gumbolt pin. The Dean was wearing one the day he died. Could Susie have played a part in the Dean's death? All of Jenny's instincts told her it wasn't possible, but she needed to know for sure. Hmm, let's go tactful. You smell nice. What perfume is that? Oh, thanks. It's called Innocent. <laughs> I remember you were wearing it last Thursday at the lake. I was. What did you do that day? After you left? Peggy and I took Veronica home. She was really upset. And you were there all afternoon? Yes. Why? Hmm. How close is Veronica's house to the library? I don't understand. Why do you want to know all this? I need to rule you out as a suspect. Suspect? Why would I be a suspect? You're certainly very good at keeping secrets. I didn't do anything! Just ask Peggy or Veronica. I don't know why you're friends with them. They are terrible character witnesses. First Veronica, then Keith, and now me. I never thought I'd say this, but sometimes you can be a real... jerk. Oh! What were you saying? That Peggy? hurt. Well, you didn't exactly make things easier for him, did you? You don't remember, do you? Oh, well, I suppose it wasn't that bad. What do you mean? After you interrupted the Reverend's eulogy, and after Keith asked you to stop, you tripped and knocked over the Dean's casket, and I guess they hadn't secured the lid properly? Because he rolled right out, to horrify gasps, as you collapsed Ooh. and fell into his open grave. Ooh. And that's why everyone's so worried about you. It all came flooding back. 
She had tried to defend her mom and repair her relationship with Keith. Instead, she had ruined everything. Jenny had lost her best friend. You should talk to Keith. I'm sure he'll forgive you. <sighs> it's not that simple. He thinks my mom killed his dad. She felt the distance between them grow with every passing minute. How could she face him without answers? I have to find the Dean's real killer. Alright, so there must be more clues here, right? Seeing textbooks strewn about the floor reminded Jenny of something. My journal! I need to get my stuff back. Where are my clothes? Oh, Gerald took them. Who the hell is Gerald? Our butler. Of course you have a butler. He's taken them to be cleaned and pressed. They'll be ready in a few days. Well, I need them. Now. I've got a dress that would be perfect for you. It's got purple bows and the sequence will really bring out the color of your eyes. Mm, let's be polite here. No, thank you. I'd rather be burned to death. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's polite. No one's gonna take me seriously in a purple ball gown. And where's my other stuff? Don't tell me Gerald's got my journal. It's irreplaceable. Like I'd let that nosy old fool see your diary. It's not a diary. It's my case notes. Right, of course. The girl's gotta have a place to keep her secrets. I put all your stuff in the lockbox under my pillows. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. No wonder my head hurts. Jenny needed to recover her journal and the Dean's ring, but she wasn't quite finished with Susie. Okay, so we will have to return to where we uh, woke up, but that was to be expected anyway. Wait, what is this? Dangerous, intricate assembly, metal or plastic? All this stuff looks authentic, but that doesn't mean it belongs to Susie. If this is really your lab, what does that thing do? That's Tim. He's a thermal imaging machine. He uses reflected thermographic projections to infer death-related topography and subsurface bodies. What? Come again? He lets you see inside stuff. Hmm. Okay, so like an x-ray well, thing. Well, what about that thing? That's Judy Kate, a gamma-ray induction polygraph. And that? Hydraulically propelled telemetric manipulator. And this? That's a tea set. <laughs> what? I like to drink tea. How did you get all this stuff up here anyway? And without being seen? You'd be surprised how much you can hide on a giant stuffed teddy bear. Uh-huh, interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh-huh, wait a second. There must be something here. Wait, why doesn't it... But it's... Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, we can't, for some reason... Push it over there. We will have to do that later on. It seems to be the like that, at least. Okay, I have not missed out on any art gallery. I hope at least. I hope I didn't. But it seems like... No, we didn't. Okay, so let's have a look here. Welding torch disguise. Pink bows, fluffy bears, stylish clothes. She can't possibly be a scientist. Do you really expect me to believe that you aren't obsessed with boy bands in the color pink, green, or bimbo? Which one is it? I am a scientist. But I also believe in the importance of good skin care and the power of matching accessories. You sound ridiculous. Susie couldn't be pretty, popular, and smart. That was just... Greedy. <laughs> I know what's going on here. You've stolen all this stuff. And you're planning to sell it all to buy more fluffy cushions or pink horses or something. I didn't steal anything. Some of the parts are from my father's factory. The rest I bought with my allowance. That's some allowance. If you didn't steal it, why are you worried about people finding out? I'm head cheerleader. I'm captain of the equestrian team. 
If the other girls knew about this, they'd laugh me all the way to the back of the cafeteria. Why do you care what they think? It's not just them. If my parents found out about my lab, they'd kill me. Why? Don't they want you to be a scientist? I think they'd like me to marry a scientist. Dad says science is a man's job. Oh, man. Girls are supposed to bake pies and become prom queen. Ugh. Everyone in Arthurton is stuck in the past. If anyone else showed him the things I've created, he'd call them a genius and make them his lead scientist. So tell him. Prove him wrong. I... I just can't. You have to keep my secret. I'm begging you, Jenny. Poor Susie. All of her secrets laid bare. Jenny couldn't help but feel... Disgusted. <laughs> Maybe there was more to Susie than she had first presumed. Jenny was confident that Susie wasn't involved in the Dean's murder. She wasn't evil. Just insufferable. Alright, I'm gonna grab my stuff and get out of here. Oh, while you're wandering around, can you find some parts for me? I need a battery and a transistor to finish this device. What? No! I did something for you. It was true. Susie had kept Jenny's journal safe. And the Dean's ring. She'd even revealed her darkest secret to Jenny. Fine! Enough already! What's a transistor? Oh! It's an electronic voltage regulator that... Just tell me what it looks like. It's a tiny metal object with an antenna and three legs. If you can't find one in my bedroom, there are some old boxes in the attic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transistor and battery. Got it. Go, Jenny! I've got to get out of here. All right, interesting. So we will, of course, have a look around here. So that will just... Okay, so we will just return back. I'm really annoyed by the fact that we can't run, by the way, guys. Okay, so pick up gallery item. At least we got that. Aha, uh -huh, there's more that meets the eye here. Another sticker, nice. Okay, but that's pretty much it here. We can't do anything more here right now. Meaning that we will have to head back down. But before we do that, maybe we want to pay a visit to the boxes over there first. Because there was something in the boxes? Right? She said something about those? Bunch of old science fair projects. They had all been submitted by Anonymous, and they'd all won first prize. These awards should be hanging on the walls downstairs. It was sad to see all these marvelous accomplishments hidden away in the attic. Susie wanted so badly to please her parents, to live up to their expectations of what a Glatz girl should be. She never even told them she'd entered the science fairs. Wow, that is definitely, that's kind of insane. Okay, so what's going on here? A tiny metal object with an antenna and three legs. Nice. Looks like a transistor to me. Now, where can I find a battery? Okay, we need a battery too, but for the battery we will have to go down, I think. Still can't open this window, but that's fine. So let's head down. She said under the bed if I remember correctly. Search bed. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Stars, lips, hearts and beakers. What would a girl like Susie use as a password? Hmm. Hmm. What could it be? Hmm. We can't get out either, so we will have to solve this, huh? Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, this is not an easy one, guys, because I have no clue what we are even supposed to find in here. We can't even get out anymore, so we can't default. It's not three stars, it seems. I'm just assuming that it's these three. There we go. Okay. Clever. My stuff. Jenny hid the ring in her pocket and flipped through the pages of her journal. No obvious signs of tampering. At least Susie knows how to mind her own business. Now, where can I find a battery? That is a good question. We need to find a battery. That battery has to be somewhere around here, right? Look at records. Uh, there we go. There's just another sticker. Hmm, where might that battery be? I'm sorry, Mr. Pig, but I need your batteries. Ah, there we go. I love you! I love you! This will only hurt for a second. Oh, poor piggy. You're my best friend. Ooh. Thank you, pig for donating your body to science. I'll give this stuff to Susie, and then I'll find a way out of this place. All right, guys, but I just realized we are nearing the end of the episode mark. If you wanna know what's going to happen when we give the transistor and the battery to Susie, you'll have to tune in next time for Jenny LeClue, Detective. See you then. <laughs>